I asked you to send me your gaming setups on Twitter, and these were some of the responses. First, we have CC Punishment, and I actually really, really like this setup. It's pretty clean. He has an L desk, but I mean, bro, a Fortnite mouse pad, really? I mean, come on. But honestly, it is still a nice setup. He also has a custom mouse pad here, it looks like. Obviously, custom wallpapers. Looks like he has custom stickers on his PC as well. I don't, I see two lighting, two like key lights here. When they're on, it's probably enough lighting, but this does look pretty dark right now. I, I, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is his microphone. This is his microphone, but I feel like, I feel like this covers up a lot of his own, his own view of like maybe this monitor here. Um. So I'm not sure if that's maybe in the best place. Maybe you could find a better place for it, like clamp it under your desk over here or something and have it come up across so it's not covering your view a whole lot. Also, I don't really see a camera, but like maybe they're a content creator without a face cam. So I'm, I'm going to like chalk it up as that, that they just don't use a face cam. But you can't really see what's in the PC, but just from the look of it, it looks like a pretty good PC. But again, it could just be a really nice case. I don't really know, to be fair. Um, the the three monitor layout, the three horizontal, that's like, I've seen it before. It's not the most common, but I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. This fourth monitor on top, this this is probably just like, I don't know, this could just be where he puts like Discord or something that he's not like constantly staring at because I feel like craning your neck up to look at it all the time because I feel like that's what you have to do wouldn't be the most ideal or the most comfortable so that's probably what he puts up there but honestly this looks like to be a pretty good setup you can't really see the cable management too much but I'd imagine it, it's it's decent I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's got good cable management the desk looks to be pretty like pretty like efficient as far as like taking up his use of space looks like he has a few things under his monitors here which means like all these monitors are mounted which is really cool because only two of my monitors are mounted i really wish i could mount my third one but it looks like all of his are mounted which is really really cool um overall I, i'd probably have to give this setup like a like a six and a half seven out of ten i think it's really cool i just think it could it could use some better lighting and maybe like, yeah, I, I think that's the biggest one is better lighting. And the desk is like, as much as I said, like he uses his space really well. It does feel like he's really like super enclosed. Like there's no openness to it. I would feel like super crammed in. But again, if you like your setup and it works for you, it's good. So don't take these ratings to heart. But moving on to the next setup. So this is suede. And this, I wanted to include this setup because it's completely unlike the rest of the setups. Because this definitely doesn't look like a content creator setup i mean yes you have a webcam up here you have some light like some nice lighting you have like a really really nice keyboard and mouse like you have really nice peripherals but i think this is the best way to say it this looks to be more like a productivity setup than a setup that is meant for like gaming and streaming and content creation um and the main reason i say this is because if you look at the monitor here like not only is it only one monitor but you can tell it's running off of a MacBook and it looks like the MacBook's like right here. So there's probably some cables running from it. But that being said, the cable management is absolutely amazing. Like you can't actually see any of the cables, at least not in the photos that he sent. Mine is like his mouse or his keyboard cable, but that's like, that's to be expected. And it looks like he has like an ergonomic mouse, which is really nice. Like you can see by the shape, like it's probably more meant for comfort and like long-term use of having your hand on it just because it's super ergonomic same with like the pad that he has in front of his keyboard like that's where you like you would rest your wrists and stuff so it stays comfortable so it looks like he sits in front of this setup for maybe long periods of time maybe he does work on it and then some sort of productivity if he is a content creator this is like a productivity setup but again i still think i really like it like you have the 3d wall panels behind you have some really nice lighting. This feels really personalized. Like you have like the Ikea plants, some markers. It looks like speakers and Elgato stream deck. I, I see other creators have that. I don't know what this is though. 
It's kind of like an additional monitor, but it's not. It's still cool though. You have a wireless charger for your phone. This this might be my favorite part of the setup right here though. He has the, the Charmander pop figure. That's gotta be my favorite part of the setup just because I like Pokemon and I like Charmander. I also like the mouse pad. I've never actually seen, I don't know who makes this mouse pad, but maybe it's custom, maybe it's not, but it's really nice. I like the like astronaut design. Looks like you have some candles over here as well. Overall, a really nice setup. And as far as like productivity goes, like this is like an eight or nine out of 10. As far as if it's, if it's just for productivity, it's an eight or nine out of 10. If you tell me like you're gaming on this, my rating is going to go down a bit because it's a MacBook. But as far as productivity goes, this is like an eight or nine out of 10. So let's call it an 8.5. And uh, yeah, moving on to the next setup. So this is Witsy's setup. And I, I, I want you guys to guess who his favorite esports team is because I can't really tell by this photo. Um, you know, I mean, he's got some 100 Thieves wallpapers. He's got a high ground 100 Thieves keyboard. It's actually this exact same keyboard that I have. That's the base camp keyboard. Um, he's got a high ground mouse pad. Um, so I, I, I'm going to bet that he's a fan of 100 Thieves. <laughs> but honestly, this is an incredibly, incredibly nice setup. Uh, I mean, first things first, you can see like the wall panels. I doubt that's the original wall. Those look almost like soundproof panels. So if that's the case, W. If that's just what your wall looks like, that's a W because that is incredibly cool. It's a really unique wall. As far as lighting goes, two key lights, one here, one here. That's what, that's the only lighting I see. And I mean, like, as you can see, like, it is lit up pretty well, even with the key lights off. Oh, in that video, he doesn't have that second key light. But, like, you can see from this photo that the key lights seem to light up the room quite a bit. Yeah, that's the exact keyboard I have. I don't have that cable. I just have the one that came with it. That's a the Razer mouse, probably like a Razer Viper Ultimate or something. Really nice. And I like the custom mouse grips he has on it as well. Hmm. Of course. Okay. So, you have the... Uh, Go XLR, the full size one. Man, that is so big. But I mean, it's Go XLRs are definitely worth it. And I'm, from what I've heard, the Go XLR Mini has a lot of issues. So the full size Go XLR is really good. Looks like he's got DT 990s. And from what I can tell, this looks to be like IKEA Alex drawers with an Ekback and countertop. He's got the furniture risers. That's like super common. You're actually going to see it in later setups as well. Um, but overall, I mean, this setup looks amazing. He's got a microphone. It's a Shure SM7B. Again, though, with this one, I don't see a webcam. So if this person is a content creator, and let's be honest, through this setup, they're 100% a content creator. I don't see where their camera is. So again, can have to assume they're streaming or doing some sort of content without a face cam. And like, this is the only view I get of the PC, though. I really wish I got a better view of the PC. You can't really tell it's inside. Again, it looks to be a pretty well-built PC. It's got the LED strips inside. And I think from what I've seen from other content creators, those LED strips actually came inside the PC. At least there's another creator that I've seen who has LED strips that are actually inside the PC that came with the PC. Overall, though, it's a pretty nice looking PC. And again, like overall, like this setup is absolutely gorgeous. Cable management, you can actually see like right there. You can see how he manages his cables. I'll try to pause the video right on it. Like you can see like he's got the cables like pinned up under his desk. So that like, unless you're getting this view, like you're not seeing them. Like in the other pictures of the setup, like this one, you can't see the cables at all which is really nice. Like he does a really great job cable managing. Overall, I have to give this setup as far as like content creation goes, probably like a nine, probably like a nine out of 10. And mind you, I, I'd rate my own setup like a seven, maybe a seven and a half. I've had other people rate it higher, but as far as I'm concerned, my setup's probably like a seven and this guy's got like a nine. So W setup Witsy and let's move on to the next one. So the next setup is coming from Carnage Reborn also known as Landon. So if I kind of switch what I call him throughout this, um, I apologize for that. Um, first things first, the first thing that jumps out to me is the two PC setups. You got one here and one here. 
they both look to be like really nice PCs. That's the only photo he sent in. So I can't really like get a good look at what's inside the PC. Cable management could use some work. Um, but my own cable management isn't great. So I'm not really going to be nitpicky about that. But the cable management could use some work if we're just looking at like purely aesthetics. He's got a nice respawn chair. I think that's the carnage pillow. No, I don't think that is the carnage pillow. That's probably just the respawn pillow on there. Um, little carnage coaster. By the way, just putting it out there, I do want to join Carnage Clan, the team that, that Reborn's in. But I'm not going to use that as like a bias to like rate his setup high. I'm just saying. That's why I'm like talking about Carnage when I'm looking at his setup. Um, as far as lighting goes, he's got two pretty big key lights, which is really nice. Um, of course, he's got like two keyboards and, and two mice just because he's got that dual PC set up. Um, looks like his main keyboard is like obviously the nicer one and it looks really nice. He also has a Go XLR. It looks like that might be the Go XLR menu. It's pretty big, but I don't see as many buttons. Sure, SM7B looks customized as well. Looks like he's got some stickers on the base of it, which is really nice. Adds a little personal touch to the setup. I really like the uh, desktop wallpapers as well maybe i think might maybe these two monitors run off one pc because they've got the same and then these two run off the other because they've got the same little astronaut and then like it looks like a call of duty operator also i just want to point out i don't know if this is intentional but the monitor mount here comes out right at the top of the barrel of this gun on this wallpaper so that's actually really cool like that's that might not be intentional but if it is that is absolutely amazing. It's amazing regardless, but it's even cooler if he did it intentionally. And then the camera, the camera is just, I don't know what type of camera it is. Maybe it's like a Canon or a Sony, but anyways, very, very, very nice camera. I really wish I had a camera. I really just have like a Logitech webcam. I want to get like a really nice camera. So that's an absolute W, but you've also got a respawn desk. And it looks like it's like the mouse pad desk. So like the entire surface of the desk is a mouse pad. Overall, I'd have to rate the setup like a like a seven, seven and a half. Probably just because like the cable management and I'm not like a big fan of PC being on the floor. I used to have mine as well. Maybe if you could get like a bigger desk, that would be good to have the PCs up off the floor. But I mean, again, if it works for you, it's comfortable. Like you do you roll with it. You still have a really nice setup. But again, that's just what I would do personally is get a bigger desk, get your PC up off the floor, PCs up off the floor. But yeah, overall, like I said, like a seven and a half out of 10 W setup reborn. All right, moving on to the next setup. We have Solzy, who is a content creator that I actually watch quite frequently. And I got to say, he's got an absolutely beautiful setup. So similar to what we've seen before, he has the Alex drawers, Ekback and countertop furniture risers, just an absolute W mini fridge with a bunch of G fuel stick. That's actually crazy because my mini fridge also has a bunch of the G fuel stickers on it. You guys can't see it in this camera shot, but it does. So that's actually kind of cool. That's something I never noticed about a setup before. Um, I like this three monitor layout a lot. I like the space between the, uh, the vertical monitor and the two horizontal ones. I also have a little space. Like my camera right now is between uh, my two horizontals that are stacked and my vertical. Um, the PC, I mean, this is the best look we get at it. I know he just got a new graphics card for Christmas as well. Like this is an absolutely gorgeous PC. I really like the case. It's super, super unique. Um, definitely like the most eye-catching thing in all of these photos, other than the fact that like this camera as well, is just gorgeous I, he has multiple cameras so i don't know if this is the one he uses for streaming as well or just for vlogging and stuff but this camera is amazing you can see his camera there as well oh so it's not so there's his streaming camera right there and then this is his other one so that's a straight up w they have two cameras i really like the customization in his setup as well he has the 3d wall panels a uh, little figurine here candle looks like he has a stream deck go xlr Mouse pad, which looks to be that if I had to guess, that's a gutsy Aiden Topo mouse pad. Um keyboard and mouse can't really see what they are, but I know he has really nice peripherals, so I'm just gonna say that. Sure SM7B. Um and I've seen the rest of his setup as well, because I actually watched his setup tour, and so he's got a lot of customized things around his setup. Like 
he has like Juice World albums and vinyls and a lot of other things that make really complete the personalization of his setup. So I really like it a lot. I really like his monitor layout as well. Like having this bottom monitor kind of slanted at an angle like that. I don't know. It's really unique. And I think it gives you a good view of that monitor. I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. I don't know if I would do that personally, but it definitely looks like it works. But yo, bro, Solzy, if you're watching this, I think you should leave this monitor horizontal. You know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> or uh, you should leave it diagonal. Yeah, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Um, overall, though, like he's going to get like a 9. 100%, like a 9, even a 9.5, because this setup is just absolutely beautiful. He's got really nice lighting in it, too. And, like, I've watched his stream, so I know that his lighting is, like, on point. So, as you get, like, a 9.5, bro. Like, this is a W setup, on me. Last but not least, FR Slush. Like, yo, Mason has such a nice setup. Like, super unique that he only has, like, the two-monitor layout, because a lot of creators you see have, like, the three-monitor layout. And you can see he says here, like, ignore the cables. So I am just going to say the cable management needs work. But, I mean, Mason, you know that. Again, though, Alex drawers, Ekback and countertop, uh, furniturizers, huge desk. This is a huge desk. Mason's actually moving in a few months. He's moving out into his own apartment with another content creator. And so he's going to rebuild his entire setup. But right now, it's a W straight up. I mean... He's got the Mavix chair. I'm pretty sure he spent like $1,000 on this chair, which it does look really comfortable, to be fair. Um, MacBook, which I know he uses for like productivity, for like editing and everything. Go XLR. He's got the Sure SM7B. He went back to that. He At one point, I know you had like the Beacon mic, but there were so many issues with that and the audio interface that he went to a, a Sure SM7B. Um, He's got the Gutsy Aiden mouse pad from his own collection. So Slush and Gutsy Aiden made a mouse pad collection called the Tranquility Collection. That's one of the mouse pads from it. I'm actually rocking one of the mouse pads from that collection as well. Uh, the black and white one. I know this is a high ground keyboard. Pretty sure this is a G Pro Super Light as well. Same mouse that I have. I really like this clock as well and the stream deck. Super, super nice. And I really like the blue aesthetic from his setup. I mean, he's got the nano leaves on the wall here. And I know he has a lot of other lighting behind him as well that you can't see in these photos, but again, just from like knowing who he is and like seeing his setup and stuff. Also, the dual PC setup with both of them being on the desk is an absolute W. IKEA plant on top. Here's the second keyboard and mouse for his other PC. Like just a just an amazing setup. Like the natural lighting in this one too. It's really nice, and you have that one key light as well, which is super nice. But again, because of all the like RGB stuff in his room, the one key light is like more than enough. Camera, I think, goes on this mount. I think he took the photos with this camp with his camera, so I'm not really sure. I want to see if I can. F yeah, I, okay, I can't find one with the camera mounted. New graphics card, thirty fifty, very nice, very nice. I th I can't remember which PC he put it into, but it went into one of the PCs. Um. This is the best look at a PC that we've had, like, all video. And, I mean, this is gorgeous. You can see the RTX graphics card. And I really like what Mason did with this PC as far as customization. Like, on the AIO, you have Kilua. You have a Kilua pop figure here. Kilua pop figure here. Like, just an absolute W setup and an absolute W PC. I really like the customization he's done with his setup. And I mean, in my opinion, Mason has one of the nicest setups in all of content creation in my from the people that I watch, to be fair. But like, dude, this setup, like, again, this is probably like a 9.5, even a 10, like ignoring the cable management. It's probably a 10 with the cable management. It's probably like a 9.5, but you did say to ignore the cables, so I'll allow it. I'll allow it. But dude, yeah, like this is honestly one of the nicest setups I've seen in all of content creation. So this is all of the setups for this video, but I did get a ton more responses that I'm going to be able to actually make more videos reviewing gaming setups in the future. So if you replied to my tweet and you didn't see your setup in this video, don't worry, it will be in a future video 100%. But I saw these, they jumped out to me and I just had to make a video showing these specific setups in this one. 
But like I said, there will be more videos like this in the future. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments whose setup you thought was the best out of all the ones I showed in this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.